Conservas La Costena, usually called La Costena, is a Mexican brand dedicated to the canned products market. It was founded in 1923 by Vicente López Racines. The company has become an important brand inside and outside Mexico. Nowadays, La Costena sells its products across Mexico and in 40 countries around the world. In spite of the fact that its products in the beginning were chilies, the company began producing new products such as beans, ketchup, vegetables and others. The production plants have been modified also, in addition there is the fact that the factories have won some recognitions for the changes in technology and process. Topic History La Costena was founded in 1923 by Vicente López Racines. He bought a little grocery shop called La Costena where he began preparing chili peppers in vinegar. He packaged and sold chilies in 20 kilogram jars with alcohol so that they could last longer. By 1937 Lopez decided to make his own jar company, this decision changed the business. In 1948, he founded the principal factory in Mexico City. It has an area of 5,000 square meters. The new production plant count with forklift trucks and transport units, as a consequence the business continued growing up and increasing their distribution territory. The business began its industrialization with the application of the first automatic production line with 3 kg cans in 1951. Four years later the company installed an automatic production line to making 105 gram cans, moreover the distribution inside the country began. By 1971 the factory moved to Ecatepec with a facility of 180.00 square meters. Since then this facility has increased by 70,000 square meters. In 1975 the company entered the US market. The company continued growing and by 1991 it had founded a new production plant in Sonora for the production of ketchup, vegetables and more. In 1994 a new plant was built in San Luis Potosi. In 2006 a new project about a completely automatic plant began, this new plant will work with robots, this creation represents a better and faster production with more quality. In 2014, La Costena acquired the American canning company Fairbow Foods, founded in 1895. In 2015, La Costena announced it will triple Fairbo Foods' manufacturing and warehouse space in Fairbo, MN to nearly 1 million square feet, over the next three years. The Fairbo brands include S&W Beans, Sunvista Beans and Saucers, Lux Beans, KC Masterpiece Baked Beans, Mrs. Grimes Chili Beans, Cooners of Colorado Vegetables, Kearns Nectar, Butter Kernel Vegetables, Chilliman Chili, Pride Vegetables and Toti's Snacks. Topic. Distribution Since its creation 1923, La Costena's market share and reach have been core business interests, as a result, the territory served by the company has continued to grow. Inside Mexico, La Costena products are sold by small and large shops in every state. To service them, there are 30 distribution centers located in key cities throughout Mexico. There are also two international distribution centers, one each serving North America and Europe. Products are also sold by independent and chain groceries throughout the world. There are three Mexican production plants in Estado de Mexico, San Luis Potosi and Guasave creating the brand's products for the various distribution centers. The distribution centers are located in Yucatán, Tabasco, Chiapas, Oaxaca, Veracruz, Puebla, Acapulco, Estado de México, Hidalgo, Morelos 3, Querétaro, Guanajuato, San Luis Potosí, Aguascalientes, Jalisco, Nuevo León, Durango, Torreón, Tamaulipas, Sonora, Sinaloa, Chihuahua 2, Baja California Norte and Baja California Sur. The company sells the largest variety of canned products within Mexico. As of 2010 the company exported products to 40 countries. To manage this trade it has offices all over the world such as those in Spain and mainland China. According to the trade paper Soy Entrepreneur, in the same year La Costena controlled 69% of the world chili market, with 16% of its output going to other countries. Topic. Products 
The company has a wide variety of products in different presentations. The main products are chilies, beans, tomato puree, ketchup, mayonnaise, vegetables, creams and soups, sauces, specialties, vinegar, fruit, jams and marmalades, portion packs, dona chonita, rancherita, frenchers. <laughs> Chili peppers Products include jalapenos, nachos chilies, slices of jalapenos, jalapenos bits, serrano, serrano slices, rajas rojas, rajas verdes, tomatillos, chipotles, chipotle bits, carrot pieces and long chili peppers. Topic: <laughs> Beans. Another big part of the products are beans, black beans and kidney beans. Their presentations can be as whole, refried and shattered beans. Some of them can be also mixed with chorizo, cheese, chipotle and pork rinds. Finally the beans can be already prepared from traditional recipes as the frijoles charros or sauce for in frijoladas, similar to enchiladas. However, PROFECO Special Institute for the Mexican Products Quality found that there were more of sodium recommended in some canned beans. Topic: <laughs> Tomato puree. In tomato puree products we can find four different preparations: tomato puree, condiment tomato puree, condiment fire tomato and chopped peeled tomatoes. These tomato sauces are used to create the base for some Mexican soups and some Mexican dishes. The presentation for the ketchup squeeze bottle, ketchup glass bottle, ketchup style sauce. The squeezy presentation target are kids. Topic. Mayonnaise In mayonnaise products there are a lot of presentations, the mayonnaise with lemon juice in bottle and squeezy presentation, mayonnaise dressing for salads in bottle and squeeze bottle presentation, light mayonnaise in bottle and squeezy presentation, mayonnaise with jalapeno in bottle and squeezy presentation and mayonnaise with chipotle in bottle and squeezy presentation. Topic. Vegetables For the vegetables there are five different presentations, golden corn, peas, vegetable salads, peas with carrots, sliced capsicums. Topic. Soups In the creams and soups there are a lot of presentations, corn, bean, mushrooms, asparagus, poblano chill creams. Chicken and vegetable, lentil soups. Jalisco and Guerrero pozole presentations. In USA La Costena entered the international market in 1975. Since the beginning the U.S. was its principal goal with 90% of La Costena exports going there. The USA has a large Hispanic population, who are the principal buyers of La Costena products, however the products have become very popular among the rest of the population with chilies, jalapenos, nachos, chipotle, among others, as the best sellers. In June 2006, La Costena established a production plant in Arizona. The plant was built in 2001 for a Slim Fast Foods, however, it has closed in 2004. The new plant is on the Interstate 10 freeway, which also connects to Interstate 8, helping distribution to the Southern California. After the economic crisis, the company has made reduced sales in the U.S. Although the economy has since improved, food companies have not yet seen any recovery. Until March 2010 the growth was lower than the growth in 2009. This has driven the company to the search for new markets such as Asian markets. <laughs> <laughs> Awards The company has won many important prizes at national and international levels. 
In June it won El Premio Nacional de Logística 2010 National Logistic Award 2010 for its advances in production, distribution and lower cost. This is the second time it won it, the first was in 2007. They also get the ISO 9002 on October 11, 2010. This price gives the recognition of standards for quality management systems. Other certificates are ISO 22000, HACCP Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points, BRC British Retail Consortium, IFS International Food Standard, SQF Safety Quality Food, BASC Business Alliance for Secure Commerce. Most of them give the company worldwide recognition. Topic: <laughs> Charity and Charitable La Costena provides some of its production and profits to charities and when there is a natural disaster in the country relief helping affected people with merchandise. First, La Costena provides some of its products when there is a natural disaster in Mexico or other countries, for example the canned products that were donated to Chile after the earthquakes in 2010. Second, it also participate in charity programmers. One example is the contribution made annually to the Teleton event that takes place in Mexico City. Topic: See also Goya Foods.